special year. We're celebrating 180 years of handcrafted, beautiful Martin guitars made here in America. Didn't start out in America, of course. C.F. Martin I grew up in a small town in Markenkirch in Germany, which is now um, still known for musical instruments, but could not learn how to make a guitar in his hometown. Uh, he had to travel to Vienna, and he studied with a very famous luthier there whose name was Johann Stauffer. And Stauffer taught him how to make guitars that had what we now refer to as the Stauffer headstock, this huge curly Q thing with all the tuning gears on one side. When C.F. Martin traveled to America to pursue his dream of guitar making, those early Martin guitars that he made in New York City and then laterally in Pennsylvania, of course sported a Stauffer headstock. When he made the move in 1839 from New York City to the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania, think about it. This was the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. This is when people started to think about assembly lines and, and pieces and doing things in piecework, not one person doing everything. And so that's when we begin to see design changes in a Martin guitar. And the first proprietary design change was the headstock. That huge curly Q headstock suddenly changed into what we now lovingly refer to as a slotted headstock. Why? Very simple. Those tuning gears came from Germany. Those crazy curly Q gold hand engraved tuning gears. Can you imagine without courier service in 1840 trying to get a supply of tuning gears from Germany to Pennsylvania? So he switched to tuning gears he could get locally and hence this was the development of the now instantly recognizable rectangular headstock. The slotted headstock was used from most of the 1800s and into the 20th century, the beginning. And now, players are drawn to the wonderful, enchanting sound of guitars that have a slotted headstock. Why? Sound? How could that have a sound? I'll explain. When you have a slotted headstock guitar, the angle that the strings pass over the nut is much more pronounced. Instead of being like this, it's like this. That increased angle puts more downward pressure on the nut, and all that pressure yields a louder guitar. So slotted headstock guitars, even though they're usually 12th fret and very small, are little powerhouses. Slotted headstock, we still make them because this tradition cannot be bought. It can only be built. Okay.